All right, guys, let's start talking about market cycle. This is one of the most important patterns that you have to recognize and know where to find it and what kind of emotions go behind this pattern, okay? Because traders are the ones that are buying and selling in the market, and since we're humans, we all have emotions. And the way our emotions play a role in trading can be very decisive okay so let's talk about let's start here at the beginning at the beginning go in the hope and disbelief area so at the beginning of a rally most of the people they're scared they don't know what's gonna happen to the stock if it's gonna go up in price if it's gonna dump so there a lot of people don't even get in at the beginning of a rally okay because they don't know how to recognize it and and they're just scared because they're scared of the unknown right now then we keep going up and it goes to optimism right so we're like around the, the middle some people start getting excited okay a lot of people oh my god and we're gonna start buying this because it's gonna keep going up and rally i'm gonna make money okay then we keep going up there's more belief time to get fully invested a lot of people just keep putting money in it. And you got more thrill. There you got the euphoria. Oh my God, I'm a genius. We're going to be rich. Well, that's usually the top. Okay. That's usually the top of a move right here. When everybody's super, super bullish and they believe the price is going to keep going up and up and it's never going to stop. When you have that moment of that feeling inside of you that you just on the top of the world well most likely you are you're at the top of the move okay so that's when you want to realize and sit back and think oh is this this might be the top is this is this keep gonna keep going up you know that's why you're gonna use your analysis to find this out but for now just know that that most of the time when the masses are in that state of euphoria. Usually that's the top of move. Okay. And then what happens? We just get a sudden drop. Okay. So we drop like here. Boom. And then we get a little going a little back up again. So we got the complacency area. We just need to cool off for the next rally. It's going to keep going up. That's what most people think. Right. So we got this area right here. It keeps going up and actually double topped over here. So it reached the same price as the last top. And after that, what happens? We just go downhill from there. Right? You get to the big downhill. Okay, trend. Which is basically just this. It keeps going down. Anxiety. Why am I getting this margin call? This dip is taking longer than expected. Right? So people have their hopes up that it's going to keep going up. But that's what happens when people don't know what they're doing. And they just let themselves guide with their emotions. Okay? And then we've got denial. My investments are great companies. They'll come back. Right? So they just keep getting those hopes up. And then what happens? Oh, it's the panic. Everybody's selling. We need to get out. Right? And they usually sell at the bottoms. Because the emotion kicks in. Right? And they weren't able to recognize that this was the area that they had to sell. This right here. Okay. So at the end we're gonna we're gonna find out how, how we're gonna recognize these patterns and how to know when to sell it and when to actually buy it. Because you wanna be the contrarian. Okay, you don't wanna follow the masses. So now all the masses are euphoric and, and they want to keep buying more, that's when you want to sell it. You want to sell into those people that are, that are just starting into the trading journey because they don't know what they're doing. And then you want to buy it when everybody wants to sell, right? And we want to find the way to recognize the setups and when will be the best times to get in. Now, this is a daily chart and this happens even in between the chart the smaller time frames too so we saw the whole thing happening 
then let's look at this little area right here. Happened the same way. You got all the way up. Euphoria kicks in. We dump. One more try up. Did it happen? And then what? You just keep dumping all the way down. Same thing. Up, down, little dead cat bounce. And you just keep going all the way down. See? So this happens over and over again. Over and over again. In every time frame. Now, bear in mind that this whole market cycle on the daily started from 1987, let's say, to the low of 2001 it's a long time frame right but keep in mind this happens on the longer and the shorter time frames you can go to the hourly 15 minutes it'll be the same thing you can find this everywhere you just gotta know when to look for the tops and the bottoms we're gonna find that out later